The name of this new exhibition, Birches, stems from a very personal reason. Yagita was born and raised in Lithuania, and after a few decades of globetrotting, established her home in Scotland. The gallery opened um, on uh, March 10th, 2017, and early on, because of the gallery name being Birch Tree Gallery, people asked if I'm going to show any works um, about birch trees. but. Um, Early on, it felt that galleries' horizons shouldn't be limited by showing birches, um, and it would have been way too obvious. But now, three years down the road, it felt like such a thematic exhibition would have been appropriate. And the gallery is quite committed to show um, makers, not just paintings and printmakers, but uh, also uh, various uh, crafts or very high level artistic crafts. So it's really wonderful to have it three years again showing textiles and Kendra's work because the first exhibition was uh, Tapestries by Louise Oppenheimer. So at three years to have textile work is really great. But that is not limited just to textiles. This current exhibition showcases work by 18 artists, um, many of them just a few pieces, but it includes ceramics, um, basketry, printmaking of various techniques, screen print, etching, um, and also paper cutting and painting in acrylic, pastel, watercolour, and oil. Two birch species, silver and downy, are native in both Scotland and Lithuania, and it was this subtle connection between the two countries, her two homes, that she was drawn to, as well as its artist's own techniques and motivation. I, I do something called free motion machine embroidery. Uh, so I essentially use a sewing machine, um, a, a big long arm Bernina sewing machine for anybody who's interested, um, and I use the needle really as a, as a paintbrush or a pencil and so I draw, this is one of mine behind us, I am basically drawing or painting with thread um, and it's completely free motion, there's no sort of, a lot of people say would oh, you program it in, nothing like that, it's as if I was painting or drawing so, um, but it's very time consuming and I work, I usually work within that kind of area, it's basically the area of an embroidery hoop. So for something big like this, it's quite a challenge because I can't see the whole pieces I'm making it. So I have to keep standing back, keep standing back, keep looking at it. So it does take a long time, but I really, I love doing it. Trees are my, uh, I just, I love trees. I always have done it, just a, a real sort of draw towards them. Um, birch trees in particular. I mean, I think everybody loves birches, don't they? They are just so beautiful. Uh, and I think being a Nordic country as well, we have that kind of connection to, to birches too. Um, so yes, trees just keep, Coming, and I keep thinking I should branch out, pun not intended, um, to other things. But there's so much to explore with with the form of, of trees. I just I never get tired of it, and I have at any one time so many different ideas on my head for the for the next tree or the next forest. So I don't see that stopping anytime soon. And to mark a double celebration, it is also exactly 30 years since the restoration of independence of Lithuania. Ian McNally, that's TV.